a request for community participation. 78 residents wanted to get involved. 12 were selected, representing diverse communities across the LGA. Many perspectives, ideas and opinions were gathered over two full-day workshops. I think it's important that people coming should know that the history of the land they've come into. So we've got words like growth, the people coming together. And then they went together in the gathering place and they gathered in love, welcoming and gathering in love. They should have somewhere to have a, have a smoking ceremony. It's just concrete, but if you look at that with history, you will have more appreciation of how those people bring this thing together, this city together. For a lot of people, there's a black history and a white history, whereas I see it, it's a continuous history. Um, the way opened because we had waves of people and it's open at the end because it's still continuing. First step, you have the Aboriginal languages, Aboriginal people. The second step, you have the first fleet. The third step, convicts. The fourth step, farming type town. The fifth step, you have the multicultural uh, Australia or Parramatta. It's something that everyone connects to without even kind of thinking. We were talking about the things like the circles, how circle is a part of a cultural symbol in almost all of the cultures and the waves of the water. Even waves of water symbolize something in every culture. So uh, symbolic pictures like those might be the common things. It signifies to me a little bit of the waves thing, but also movement and also the time, because the whirlpool will probably stay around for a while. It'll pull in a lot of things into itself from surrounding areas, but then it'll settle. But then there'll be another whirlpool after some time. Um, but in the end, there's still waters. Those little points of history that are still remaining, it just takes us back to those people and how they lived and why we do what we do or why we do things differently. Aboriginal history, um, it wasn't really taught in school. You know, um, the great indigenous leaders that came about from Parramatta and um, how they were great hunters and um, you know I didn't learn that in school so um, being involved in this project I learned about that. Some of the things have amazed me with the people in this group and I found through what they've been saying that a lot of them do have more respect. History impacts everything that we do now. It's always been an area where things have grown like as I said, it's, it's growing from the soil, from the, you know, from the Aboriginals with the, um, the water being here. Um, and then the convicts um, grew agriculture here. And I think we're growing um, our own culture here as well. Rediscover who you are, so then that tree kind of becoming different communities. We should be trying to build on the past to better our future. It's about being innovative in transport, so the cycleways, light, light rail, keeping the public an open space and so then the, the governance then comes in over the top of all these things. That's a attachment, a belonging and I look at the history and thinking about the future. I feel like I want to be in part of this for the future in this area. I have been in the country for 11 years. I don't have much understanding of the histories. The main thing that I would like to see for Parramatta Square is the integration of the different ideas of community being put into one place and the different symbols that might mean things to different people. Combining the history and the multicultural aspect, it would be a good thing to see in uh, Parramatta Square. I think in Parramatta we have a lot to celebrate in regards to our culture, in regards to being the first seat of government in New South Wales, the story of our river in regards to the journeying, um, the travel, the trade and everything. I think it's, it's wonderful really that they're listening to just a kaleidoscope of people to get ideas in. I think it's a good idea, otherwise people think decisions are coming down from the top and the ordinary people aren't getting involved. So this is an opportunity to do that. It seems like a privilege uh, to be asked to voice our opinion. So the fact that they let me come in and see what they're doing is really inspiring because I can actually see how I can impact how Parramatta's progressing. We heard how important heritage is. It's vital to hear from community members Parramatta Square will be a vibrant space for all.